All right. Well, I'm not sure if anyone's gonna show up, but I'm. Mean, hey. <laughs> But I, I play. So here's that. Bam, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, sick. I can just do that, yeah. Alright, and then... Uh, uh, Alright, I'll just close it up. Discord. Under... Alright, well... Let's head into it. Uh-oh. Feels like I'm lagging. Aw, oh, crud. Right, let me just, like... Let me do this. I, I don't know what the um, stream quality is like. I don't even know if I... It actually, uh oh, Ollie, what the heck? That thing was right next to you. Why couldn't you get it? Oh, ah, crud! Streaking. I'm ch I'm streak. Look at this hot streak. I'm streaking right here. Closing the window. <laughs> Loud. Where was he? Oh, he was right there. Okay, sick. I was right. Kabam! Oh, he's gonna be right there. Ah, dang it. Bam. 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 Sick. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, these are all really good choices. Oh my god, wow, those are all really good cho- oh my god. I don't know which I want to choose. Oh my gosh. Oh no. How do I- how do I- How do I choose? Oh no! Okay. Um... Oh my gosh. Um hmm. oh, these are all so good. Gonna have to go Reaper. I just love Reaper Curse. I mean it good is it was pro It depends on how good I play for the quality of this curse. Also all three of those those um all three of those charm, like, can like those candies, pretty solid. Those were, s I think, actually, the cookie was probably like upper B tier, but um, and the shell like lower A tier, and Reaper Curse, also like really high up there. But also, dang, those dogs barking, aren't they? Little little, little dogs barking. Ah, crap. Oh crap! I'm not paying attention to where I am. Reaper, you really don't need to go to the bottom floor. Nobody's there. Like, nobody will ever be there. Because, okay, well, I, I say as I go there myself. Ah, oh, crud, I broke it. Wasn't decisive enough. I could have kept the chain going. Whew. Whew. Keep it- Ah! I mean, I- Chain Charm keeps me going, but like... Oh, there we go. Oh, what the- oh, okay. My bad. I kept on jumping. Oh, what the heck. Just get to a chain of t- Oh my gosh, these chains. 
awful, awful chains. <laughs> Ow. gotten one less cycle if that Reaper Scythe went off just a bit later. Oh, that was a bad leap. I should have jumped first before pressing the button. And there we go. Sick. Four minutes, 30 seconds for the room. Could have been a lot better. But then again, you can't really get a like extremely fast time in this yeah, in this room. Uh, oh my god. Wow, these are some good candies. Kid, did you slay the ghosts? I asked you about. Wait, did you slay the things? Blast. A hundred blast spitters? Dude, those things are like. kind of rare? Th those aren't like. You, you don't come across a blast spitter like every every day. Like, no, no, you gotta get first. First, you've gotta get through the frickin'. <laughs> you gotta get to Curse Crusher mode. And then after you get to Curse Crusher mode, you gotta. Um. Uh. Uh, once you get past Curse Crusher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, wow, that was. First kill got me. Wait, what? What the heck happened there? Did I? Ooh. Curse. Yeah, you gotta get to cut curse. Oh, come on. Hector is expecting a lot from me here, you know? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very, you know, so the cool, like, um, Who am I talking to, is the question. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm back to full freaking health. These chains, though. These chains, though. Was that noise? Uh oh, here comes another skull right there. Ah, oh, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Oh come on! Why did couldn't you be on the bottom floor? Bam! Bam! bam. Oh, 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 oh! There we go. Ooh, this could be a little bit quicker depending on how my Reaper decides to attack. Reaper, go uh, second from top. Yeah, 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 that's good. It means you can't. Okay, over here, dude. Over here. This floor. No? Okay, fine. That was the one you shouldn't have gone for. <laughs> Alright, should be good, should be good, should be good. Nope. Now we out. We've got two hits on there. That's good. Wow, it took some damage. That's fine. Really fine, actually. It doesn't it doesn't matter. I've got I got like oh yo Luda, what's up? I got um I'm playing C N M C right now. I'm there's probably a lot going on. Don't worry. It just gets a lot more complicated when time goes on. Um, it probably doesn't help that I have like. 
extremely stacked items. Okay, Reaper up. Okay, fine. Christ, I was trying to get the Reaper guy to go up here. He's a curse. Um, he's like a. This is like a roguelike almost. Um, and the Reaper is a curse. There's two types of pickups in this game: candies and curses. Ow. Um, candies usually are pretty good for you. Uh -oh. And curses are good with a downside. Um, Reaper will clear a lane every so often, but you can also get hurt by it, which is not very cool. Ghost Gif... I mean, this literally doesn't get me anything new. I'm so far in the game. It does... this does, doesn't give me anything new. It, it just, I'd be spending 5,000 souls for 500 or 400 ectoplasm. Hector, what's up? Kid, did you slay the Dude, I literally talked with you about this, like, last transition floor, okay? 100 blast spitters. All right, buddy, pal, those are in curse crusher mode. Those do not come often. Uh, um, what do I want? I think even though I, the sugar heart might be nice because I have a revive. I picked up a revive along the way. Um, the thing is, um, this is probably going to become better in the long run because I play for the long run after all. Also, hey, Ludot, tell me, what, what do you what do you think of the, um, the, like, side panels, yeah? I made them sort of myself. I mean, I had to, like, rip a few, um, I had to, like, crop out a few textures from the game to, um, edit them around and stuff, but also, yeah, welcome to, well, this is, this is the game. Oh, I'm playing with a, uh, there we go. I'm playing with a type of... Oh Christ, those two were stacked on top of each other. In this game, you play as Molly. You are trying to destroy ghosts to escape a mansion. And you have light... Oh crap. Ah. No, 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 those panels. I, I made them myself because this is a mobile game. Um, it's a mobile game. But, um, so like, you know, if you're streaming a mobile game, well, there's going to be just a lot of empty space on the sides if it's, you know... Um, a vertical hold, like if you hold your phone vertically. So what I did was I made those side panels to um, to like fill the blank space. And so I think the left should have the chat. Should um, if the chat isn't showing up, please tell me. And the right has notifications. Um, whew, ah crap. Um, I'm right now just chaining. Yeah, yeah. I made I made a side panel as well for. Um, Burger Shop 2 um, yesterday, but unfortunately, also, hey, is, okay, yeah, chat's looking fine. Is the game laggy? Is, is it looking any, like, is there, like, any skipped frames? I'm not getting any notifications from, ah, oh, crap. Hate this fight. Absolutely, this is my least favorite fight. Um, uh, cause those slow-moving bullets, if they're going up or down, just the worst. And because of this golden uh, taco charm, the taco, taco, yeah, it's taco. The uh, the little squid dude, he makes it a lot slower than it actually needs to be. Also, you just jump over him like this. Anyway, um, taco charm kind of slows him down. Uh, speed run strats. I mean, most people don't speed run this game, but um, it's you can play it speed run wise, kind of. You can turn on the timer and then you can participate in weekly and global speedrun charts um, and doing so will unlock you sick uh, if you do really well as in like you get top 10 um, <laughs> monkey <laughs> Wi-Fi be kind of monkey <laughs> if you get top 10 for uh, the speedrun of a week, you get a um, regular taco charm because this is by Taco Boy Studios. Wonderful guys! It's like two guys and some um, with, so with some, you know, uh, sort of like 
other people helping out. Crap. I'm just taking all these hits. I have to dodge the Reaper guy, but also dodge the uh, Phantom Worms hits. Um, Alright, so let's just do... There we go. Bam. Oh, Christ. He goes faster. If you, if you hit them while you, they're um, standing still, they go... Oh, wait. There we go. Look at that. See? That was a speedrun strat, if you didn't know. So the Taco, the Golden Taco Charm that's spitting out Squid Ink stuff at its max level, um, the Squid Ink just rests on the floor, um, and it does two damage. There's one damage and there's two damage in this game. It does two damage, and so the last ball, this is like super specific, but the last, the tail piece, if you hit that last, um, that hit the, uh, the goop which did two damage because it hurt that, and then once all of the other pieces are up, the uh, head becomes vulnerable. But because it did two here, it did one for this and one for the head, which saves a lot of time. <laughs> um, of course, it would save even more time if I would hit them only while they're um, resting. Oh, Christ. Okay. Um... Oh, chocolate moves. Followers are like... Oh, by the way, this guy, um, Ollie, um, maybe I should, like, just pause for real set, for real quick, um, there we go. So here we go, I'm just gonna explain the things I've got. A Reaper Curse, summons Reaper, um, while hold, wielding a deadly scythe, its blade destroys ghosts, but will hurt Molly, too. We gotta revive on the next death, probably one of the, I think this is the second best pickup in the game, I mean, I've been playing since two, like, basically since it came out, so I have a good, I mean, I don't, haven't been playing, like, constantly, but on and off, and I have a good idea of what's, what's good in the game. This is just minus a quarter of all fire damage, because usually damage is dealt in four. Um, I'm only at half health, wow. I'll make it up next, I'll make it up next room. Um... So there are three types of flashlights in this game. You have torches, which just um, are like, or beams, torches and beams, torch slash beam will just, you just uh, have it in front of you and you can walk straight into enemies, um, but you are vulnerable from behind, above and below. Um, these guys orbit you, but you have to like be very maneuverable. They're very tricky to use. I think. The lanterns are the least favorite, possibly. Actually, no, torches are definitely the least favorite. Um, but they're they're very cool if you're, you know, using keyboard controls like I am. Um, this helps just automatically drag all souls towards me, which are the main currency. Second currency is ectoplasm. Uh, means I don't have to walk around to pick it up. And it also means, like, I collect hearts and soul, soul hearts a lot easier. Um, which I'm going to get a lot of because I have the chain meter or chain charm And so if you kill ten enemies in a row without it running out or if you get if you get to ten um, Your chain will not break as it usually would if you take a damage um, Bring along Ollie. He's another character in this game. You only get this if you beat basically challenge mode in a way um, th This is just a wonderful thing that I Earned by getting a top three in a weekly speedrun time. It was, it was fantastic, and it's like one of the most powerful things in the game. Anyway, I think uh, Mad Rush, while it does, you know, basically double my health, I don't think I want it, because the 30% speed is just so annoying to deal with. Um, I think I'll go Moose Mouse, because followers in this game are fantastic, and you will see why in either the next room or the one after. Um, things get extremely hectic very, very quickly. Like, like you've got, like, in the later levels, it turns into utter chaos. Ah. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, crap. My, uh, see, I have to, like, I have to make sure, I can't just walk straight into enemies, I have to guide my orbs into it by, mo by maneuvering my body. But, 
because I have because I'm extremely maneuverable, it basically means if I walk back and forth a bunch and jump around and do things in the correct ah crap. If I'm just going about things in a like a, a rhythm almost, I am basically invulnerable. Or, like my body turns into a weapon. Of course, projectiles are my main weakness, which projectiles are okay to deal with, you just dodge them. I think my least favorite type of inconvenience in this game is... Uh, my least favorite inconvenience or whatever, like, enemy attack is... Uh, environmental hazards, like, if they put poison on the walls or... Um, if they put fire on the floor or something like that. It gets really annoying. I mean, these pumpkins that show up halfway through ja um, the botanical ballroom are fine, because you just avoid them and they explode on their own, and that's that's that. Whoa. Oh, no flambeau. Okay, that flambeau almost spit out its flame. Um, I'm definitely not really, like, gaining a lot of health here. Also, taking that fire charm earlier was very good, because there's a lot of fire enemies in this room. Fire slimes, fire spitters... Um, oh, this should be it. There we go. Um, Jack uses... this is the main... this is my favorite boss, Jack. Also, I gotta move my mouse out of the way during these times. Jack! Oh, jump! <laughs> so to fight Jack... You listen, and you look. If he laughs once, and you do not see a speech bubble, you move, but if you see a laugh and you hear multiple laughs, you you don't move. But I had to move there. See, it's a pretty solid fight, you know. Okay, sick. Look at that. I just I put some liquid down there. It did two damage to him. Got up here, did one. I skipped an entire like thing where he makes you. Also, the pumpkins kind of get an upgrade after the first hit by an insane amount. Although, sometimes there's just a lot of... There's just a lot of, like, standing still in some of these fights. It can also get extremely hectic. See, usually he, like, sets up an entire maze of exploding pumpkins that if you touch, they explode. Oh! 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 Oh, move. Gotta be down here or to the right. Stay here. Oh crap, wait, no, I shouldn't have moved. Wait, no, I should have moved. <laughs> Move. Something happening? Oh no, my movements are getting lagged. Something's going on here. Oh my god. There's, there's some sort of delay to my movements now. Oh Christ. Okay, well, that was... Ugh, that was... How was my time, though? Usually I do pretty good in Botanical Ballroom and the... Uh... Okay, so let's see. This is weekly, right? Um, I reinstalled this game, like, two days ago. I, I, I play it, like, for a month and some, maybe more, and then kind of get tired of it, and then I just leave it, and then I come back to it. You know, it's like an arcade game. So, weekly challenge. I mean, of all time, I don't, you know, I'm not the best. Actually, you know what? These, that's not too bad. That's actually really good all time out of, like, thousands of players. Um... Wow! Botanical Ballroom, I'm kind of good at. Shutter stage. Wow! Wow! I'm not too bad. I'm kind of hot. I'm kind of. I'm kind of fire. I'm kind of spicy. Look at these times. Twenty fourth this week. Hundred thirtieth. There's like a way to just cheese this uh, level completely. Like this boss takes no time at all if you get a certain thing. Undead library. Usually I do just okay, and I guess I need uh, a different weapon to do so. Dene. Wow, I did not too bad in the Dene. Look at that. I was right. I'm 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 sick. I'm 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 sick. Wow, I was like I was like a second behind that one. I just I got I just got this game back like yesterday. I'm I'm still in it. I'm still good. I'm going to go for Bumber. Bumber. Bumber another follower. 
look at all these dudes that I've got. I've got the tutorial guy helping me. I've got, <laughs> yeah, third place this week out of, like, thousands of people. Like, I mean, I might be dethroned because there's still, like, four days left to the week. But, like, hey, I'm, I'm still in this. I'm still good. Okay, my movements no longer have the delay. That's sick. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have gone down. Anyway, Bumber, he throws around a bomb, or he'll drop a uh, a heart for you. And I like to say thank you, Bumber, whenever he gives me a heart. That was not by Bumber, that was by my chain. I am at 13 health. I had not realized. I need to play it extremely safe, basically. And I need to rack up another combo. Oh, Christ, I hate these statues. Anyways, yeah, so this game gets, like, extremely hectic, as you can see. There is a lot going on here. Like, a metric ass ton of things going on. And I don't know how I just, you know, handle it all. I think left statue? Yeah, there we go. Christ, that was bad. Um, about to go into darkness? No, that happens at, like, 150, I believe. 150 left. Christ, I'm not, I'm not focusing enough. There we go, yeah, 150 is where darkness, statues go away, the Toximancers and Pyromancers float in. Um, ah, crap. This is a good time to kind of restock on health, but after this, after this segment, um, all hell breaks loose and, like, every enemy in the game, ah, here it comes. Oh, Christ, it's gonna get, yeah, there's just, just, just lots... Lots of enemy spawns. Spawn rates go up. Once I hit 50, the statues come back, which is, again, very annoying, because they have very slow-moving bullets, which are, like, the worst in this game, because you move quite quickly, I'd say. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Come on. 17 left. I can't tank all these hits. I could probably... Oh, there we go. Final boss. Man. Oh boy, that was hectic. So many followers. Oh my god, I've got my taco. I've got Ollie. Ah, crap. I've got Bunber. I've got the Reaper. Oh, thank you, Bunber. Oh, there we go. Just gotta focus, I'm at 9 health. I can't afford to take another hit. I will go, oh, I should have gone middle, oh Christ. So I die from the next hit, which is like right there. <laughs> I didn't see the Reaper. I wanted to save that revive for next, oh, wait, no, there's not really a next floor, is there? Cause this is the final fight. Oh, oh, thank you, Bunbird. oh, that Oh, Ollie got him. Okay, sick. Oh. Whew. There's, there's a lot going on. There's quite a sizable number of things going on. I should have moved. Imagine playing this on your phone with a finger, like, to swipe to move around. That, like, that's gotta suck. I mean, I used to... I used to do that um, before I started playing on Bluestacks, and I was like, wow, this is amazing to play, like, I'm surprised there's no PC port, because, like, this would be not that bad of a PC game, like, honestly. But, um, Phil and Tom, the, uh, developers, they don't plan to have a PC port anytime soon, really. They're working on other games. They helped make Creatures of Aether. They helped make... Oh, crap. I was one cycle ahead. I, 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 you know, I was miscounting the cycles. Anyways, um, I can kind of just mess around now, because, like, well, I get a... Re I get, you know, this is the, this is the final boss, so... Oh no, the delay is coming back to my moves. Oh no! I should have let the Reaper take him, because that would have done two damage and he would have been gone by now. Oh! 
Oh, that was that was kind of. I could have possibly squeezed. The delay is coming back. Okay, so after this laser hit or this laser move, should be over. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna not cheese it this time. Oh crap. Anyway, done. Four minutes, 49 seconds for the room, 20-something minutes for the whole run. And that was Candies and Curses. <laughs> of course, um, it's only this easy because I am, like, max level, I have max HP, I have maxed out the uh, charms. Everything is just, you know, maxed out. <laughs> Can it be? Am I free of this dreaded sugar-coated curse? No, not quite. Oh, child. It's with overwhelming gratitude that I thank you for waking me from my eternal nightmare. You see, I was once known as the Candy King. Perhaps you've heard of me, the candy shop I once uh, and the candy shop I once owned. I loved coming with new delicious candies to share with the world. It brought me great happiness and an unwavering sense of purpose. Not to mention great fortune as well. But then, things began to change. Children fell in love with more than just candy, comic books, fancy new toys, even video games. Time as a, my time as a prosperous candy maker was coming to an end. And in my desperation, I made a grave error in judgment. I made a deal with the devil, so to speak. And before long, I became the monster you just encountered. This curse has yet to be fully dispelled. Soon I'll return to the darkness again to terrorize any who dare ment enter my manor. Quickly, before I lose myself again, I can open a door for you to escape this place. Sick. I only ask that you take this small token with you. It's a special candy, the last of my creations before I lost my sanity. That That's the, um... Peppermint of souls? I think it's the peppermint of souls. Maybe it's, I don't know, the peppermint of curses or something. What's your name? Molly Pop? I'm sorry I couldn't be more courteous host, my dear Molly. Now, please, go before it's too late. Without the dot, yeah. Molly, clutching the strange peppermint can candy gift it to her. Yeah. You gotta go. It's only gonna, like... This thing's gonna close. I can't, like... Yeah, it's, it's dumb. Child. Just leave. Bam. Also, the, the reason Molly is in this wacky mansion... The, the reason uh, Molly's in this wacky mansion of candy and curses is because of a... Like, Halloween Night Dare or something? No, it was like a sleepover dare. Oh, bye. Bam! Candy. Why that? Yeah, she left. And then... However, he soon felt the chill of a sinister presence. Although Molly had brought him respite, the curse would soon overtake him once again, trapping him in candy-coated darkness for all eternity. But just maybe, there was a chance for fate to take a different turn. The night was still. Then, suddenly, a, a sudden bright light fell upon a yeah, like, the, the pixel art in this game is just astounding. For a mobile game, you don't expect much from a mobile game. But, um, no, um, <laughs> Phil, the, um, the art guy behind this game, is insanely good at what he does. Like, this is just beautiful, beautiful pixel art F for a mobile game. <laughs> I 
I feel like the text noises could use a little bit tweak, a, just a little bit of tweaking. Here's that token of appreciation. The peppermint of souls. It's alive. Whack. That... that <laughs> what if I just ate this thing? It hungry. Sick. Um, sure. Wait, if I press this, do I get an ad? That'd be super, that'd be super dumb. Because I thought I... Oh, no. I've got a... Ugh, Christ. I don't want to have to play ads on my freaking... Oh no, oh, this is embarrassing. No, G get me. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Level 59, Christ. Uh, use souls to purchase flashlights, yeah. Ectoplasm. And. All right, well, that was... <laughs> and I, that was... <laughs> oh, was it not a Twitch-friendly ad either? Oh, well, I'm very glad I... I, 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 I didn't even look at it, really. <laughs> so, uh, duplicates charms just turn into 400 ectoplasm, which is solid. Also, I have double um, souls and double EXP on, because... I mean, I want it to support the creators while also making this game less of a grind, so I bought double of that. Anyway, now you hold the Peppermint of Souls. Curse Crusher mode is harder than normal mode. By playing through normal mode, you, you get, um, by playing through normal mode and entering Curse Crusher, you can carry over the stuff. So it's better just do a normal run and then Curse Crusher. Um, you now hold the Peppermint of Souls. Will you return to the mansion and attempt to break the curse? Hell yeah, well, sure. After escaping the mansion, um, yeah, she went home, but, like, she knew that she she was the... Oh, wow. Um, I guess the middle wheel actually progresses the story. Will she find a way to crush this curse? Anyways, this is Curse Crusher mode, and the music is bumping, and the scenery is a little bit different. The enemies are a little bit different, but the music is, like, kind of the same. Each stage has its own music, and Curse Crusher mode just has literally better music. Um, of course, the regular music already slaps. Um, like, the OST of this game is incredible. Um, Cactus Bear is amazing at what he does. Also, these guys are going to explode. Um, and so Cactus Bear, the composer for this game, not only made a fantastic OST, but then took each song and just improved upon them somehow for Curse Crusher mode, which is just, like, bro, how? Although you could probably not really hear the music too well over the constant sound of things dying. Also, I have a hundred chain. Oh, I spoke. Right, I jinxed it. I had a hundred chain. That was really good. Anyway, improved boss fights. Also, yo, um, I should probably put like a... Ooh! Yo, I got a double hit thanks to Scythe. That's amazing. I should put like a seizure warning in this game, or on this stream, because... Um... Anyway, let's do this. I should put a seizure warning, because, um... What happens after you beat a boss in Curse Crusher mode can only be described as probably epileptic or like seizure inducing or whatever, I don't know. Where is he? There he is, the bastard. Ooh! I let the I let the Reaper take him. And that should be like a really quick Reaper did two hits on them, meaning and Reaper does two hit, uh two damage. So that was four like that was a really that was a really, really quick I'm gonna check, I wanna check the time on that, that was, that was insane. 
Um, botanical ballroom, yes, yes. Emeralds, oh, here it is. Yeah, that was a really good time, oh my gosh. Take that, you get a little treat. That's what the magnet does, it just makes everything- Wow! I not only got a charm out of this, but also the, uh, rare flashlight, but it, it was- it's a duplicate, so... Hey, it's Benny. Is this really happening? I'm not a ghost anymore. Thank you! I hope the Candy King is doing alright. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I'm not sure what I'd do without him. Benny is like... I guess he was a, just a worker. He was the false ghost king. The... The false king. The false phantom ghost dude. I don't know. More followers! More followers! Zeke is the undead, um, the obligatory undead, uh, zombie of the mansion. Anyway, em uh, Ember Cellar, uh, Curse Crusher is insanely difficult. When it comes to the boss fight, uh, for the most part, um, I guess the, um, the enemies, like the, um, the fire skeletons that leave just pools of lava, which are super annoying because... Once, like, killing an enemy should not, you know, inhibit you. But it does, because those pools of lava are very annoying. Also, if you didn't know, Zeke just pops out of the ground, punches the air, and whatever is above him, um, for, and, and then he also leaves behind some, um, souls and ectoplasm, which is really cool. Um, he might also rarely give you a soul heart. Um, you can technically get infinite soul hearts, with Zeke, uh, if you get him to, like, a really easy boss, like, uh, I don't know, not Phantom King, but, like, the f uh, Fire Spirit. Oh, right, the top floor kind of burns away in, um, the Ember Cellar. Not just this one, but also the regular one, which is a really cool gimmick. I like that, you know, it makes, it just makes sense. Also, already at 10 ghosts left. That's incredible. Oh. Whew, okay. This boss is... such a nightmare to fight. He just goes insane. He goes ballistic. Oh, I should have just... Oh, okay. Like, you can't get near this guy without getting hit. It is... There's... Oh. The, you know, that, like, little, um, warning to where he's going to appear? There was a time in the game where that was just not a thing. You you had no idea where he was going to show up. So the blast, um, the blast, the blaze devil just was a lot more difficult. Also, this dude's just like, oh, crap. Okay. I kind of... Oh, I... <laughs> These flames are so brutal. Oh, Christ. And it probably- oh, Jesus Christ. It doesn't help that I have, like, three curses that hurt me. <laughs> I'm taking so many unnecessary hits because of my curses. Alright, he's gonna show up there, I'm gonna do that. Ugh. What's he gonna do? Uh, charge. Okay, move. Oh, thank you. Zeke, I think, gave me a soul heart. Whoa! No! Oh! Oh! Who? What? How did I get hit there? Whoa. Oh god, there's so much fire! My movements are becoming delayed. This is not good. Take that! Okay, please immediately go vulnerable. I need to finish you. Yes! Good! Oh my god! And that's not even like... That's like, I'd say... The... Dogs, shut up. Um, so that w that fight was just mediocre, like in difficulty. Oh, hey, another charm, nice. Duplicate, more four hundred. Um, curse crusher mode is great for getting souls and ectoplasm. Gosh, dang it! How'd I go and make myself get cursed? Well, thanks for helping me out, kid. I better get back to work. This confound boiler won't fix itself. This dude had let his anger issues turn into 
burning down the entire area sort of issues. You know, the, the usual ones. When you have a meltdown, but like, it's more like you're burning everything in the area. Uh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Butter pop, I really like. But also, this one's kind of nice as well. I'm not sure which of these two to get. Uh <laughs> Yo, um, yo, Ludot, tell me, tell me, uh, what, what do I, what do I, what do I choose? Chocolate shell for increases, increasing my max health? Doesn't actually improve my health immediately. Um, or this. Also, if you didn't realize, um, a high chain, a chain above 10, will slowly increase a heart meter, um, and then once it fills up, it drops a heart. But if you break the chain, the heart meter starts dwindling down. This makes it so if you're not chaining, um, it'll decrease, you know, and you get more heals. But this, on the other hand, will make it so, like, you know, I can have more max health, basically, so... I don't know, which, which one do you think I should choose? I guess I should... No. Maybe I should play Burger Shop too, because that game got views. <laughs> uh. Butter Pop, 20% doesn't seem like much, but I mean I can't. Oh, oh right, we're talking to Bumber. Um, you know what happened? Who that Ollie fellow is? Right. If you get Ollie, he will always. So usually an encounter in this game, you only get one encounter usually. Um, but if you have Ollie's four eye charms, he will always show up and always you can encounter him. Um, if you get the Bunber servant uh, curse, he will always show up, and Bunber has. Usually can k tell you a few things about, um, yeah, he, Ollie is also afraid of basically everything, except heights. He's not afraid, he's not afraid of heights, which is good, because there's, you know, it's like a four floor, there's four floors per area, which is crazy, but 20% is pretty solid. I'd, like... In the long run, honestly, I, the other, the alternative one is the grandma's favorite cookie. Name is extremely long, um, but it decreases the chain meter uh, drop by 20%. Um, together, they're fantastic, but, um, you know, just one is okay, I suppose. Whew, great. This is where things get extremely packed. Like, I don't know if my computer's gonna be able to handle this. I don't know, like, to stream and also play this mess will be a miracle. I'm already at 60 kills. Like, it's been, like, I, I, you know, it's been, like, half a minute, and I've already decimated dozens. Because, oh, crap, oh. There goes that. There, oh, I got hit by Zeke. Yeah, in the long run, really, um, just, you have to tank hits at some point, honestly. Like, because there's just so many things going on that it's extremely difficult to just avoid hits. Also, Skull. Yeah. A Banshee. Spider. Another Banshee. Christ. Thank you, Bunber. Jump over the Skull Laser. Banshee, activate, go like that, kill that, kill that, kill that, get hit. It, it, it's it's a little bit, you know, str oh. jumping down through a skull laser takes some skill. I have that skill. Also, oh my god, am I taking damage? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so if I die, I may use an ad revive, but what I'll do is I'll, like, mute- I'll, like, turn off the screen and, uh, game audio, so nobody- Oh, thank you, Bunber. Uh, so I don't have to, like, 
watch an ad, you know? Or, you like, you guys don't have to watch an ad. Uh, there goes a bone. Oh, I sh Christ, this is just... Ah! This skull attack is... Ow, brutal! Ow! Ah! Oh. Huh. <laughs> ah, it does so much damage. Okay. Uh, Reaper, no, that's the wrong floor. Okay, fine. I wanted the Reaper to deal two damage to her, so I could skip a phase. Because, you know, skipping a phase is really cool. Ah, Christ. Okay. Get him, Bumber. Oh, Bumber's too slow. I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't have left it up to the bomb. Ah! There's just so much going on. Ah! Huh. Thank you, Bumber. Bumber is a lifesaver. Honestly, one of the best curses because he's basically a charm in the long run. Because he's easy healing without needing to get a streak, which is fantastic. Okay, second floor. Oh, Zeke got it. Okay, Zeke. Two damage, I think. Sick. All right, bats and bones. Um, that's good. Ah. Oh. Okay, thank you, Bunber. Ah. Uh, oh, that was a laser. Oh. oh. Yikes. Yikes. This is like. Two hits and I'm dead, sort of. Oh, Christ. This is a... Yeah, longer laser phase. I think I'm... Ooh, I'm in the... I'm in the tough zone right now. <laughs> Monka S? By the way, I have better Twitch TV emotes, so you can, like, Monka S your heart out. <laughs> Bunber, save me! Bunber, save me! Ah! <laughs> Help, Zeke, save me! Somebody help! Oh my god. Huh. Yes, thank you, Zeke. Oh my god. Gonna tank it, gonna tank it. Uh. What? How is she? Yes! Oh, I don't know how that happened. I think Zeke killed the zombie over here and inst- it like, you know, it instantly registered and I was still here. Oh my god. I am still alive. Also that, like, ugh. Ugh. Hello, Lily. Oh my, you're the one who freed me from the curse, right? Thank you so much. Now I can get back to my books. But I might have to clean up this mess first. The library is a disaster. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus Christ, that was stressful, stressful, stressful. Okay, so, um, convert all your soul heart points into heart points. So that does literally nothing um oh we, okay so the health up would have would have been pretty cool but the problem is uh the the issue with it, it you see was um i wasn't going to be able to get it up much like i was losing health faster than i was gaining health and in that situation you see um you kind of uh, it's difficult to get back up to max health because there's so many things going on that you can't really get a decent enough chain to heal yourself, which is kind of like the part of the game that I don't quite enjoy. Oh. Do I want to do Sour Heart Curse? Uh, I don't feel like it's worth it. Because it's going to be... Because the heart meter is going to be, like, draining more, and if it takes more time to fill up, I think I'll just do this. This is basically, you know, probably the best. But in that situation, yeah, I'm probably not going to be healing as much as I should, like, as it, as it like, would be best to, um, or, like, what's optimal 
in order to get max value. Also, this this OST, just listen. Oh, it's so good. This music, so good. Also, I already took a damage. And it's already at a chain of 25. Like, how, how, th 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 it's just insanity. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Was that Bunber? I can't even tell if he gave me the heart. I, I don't know who gave me the heart. But I need those hearts. I, I need, you know... Oh, Christ. Thank you, Bunber. Oh, my God. I You know what I really wish? I wish the heart meter would fill up faster if your chain meter was higher. I am going to have to decline to go to lower levels at some point. Also, Miasma Knight. Very annoying. Um... The elemental knights leave a trail behind them, and then they, when they die, they also summon something. Uh, yeah, like that po that toxic cloud, which does a lot of damage. Also, when you're halfway through the um, Dene, Dinet place, um, the bottom floor floods and you can't access it, which allows the toxic monsters, the, the guys who shoot bullets upwards, um, they kind of get free pot shots at you almost. But... I have the taco ch- oh, Christ. Well, that was... Yeah, um, so let me just... Uh, that, and... This? Okay, so, let me... Oh, yeah, that is... Wow, so these two were making out, um nearly naked they jumped out of a skyscraper somehow they are making out in a elevator i guess um did this dude just sacrifice his <laughs> this dude just sacrificed his dude this girl to, to <laughs> are you joking okay um that that there we go. Hopefully, I think... I think that should bring back the sound and everything. Oh, oh my gosh. I would, oh, Blast Worm. Fantastic fight. Very cool fight. Um, very difficult. But once you learn it, it's a really cool fight. Sets out bombs to block lasers, which is just, like, insanity. Um, also, lasers. This worm turned into just a mega boss. <laughs> um, let's see, I think this is the... Oh, this is the one that goes up and... No, it's the travel one. No, up. It's very difficult to identify the patterns sometimes. Um, once you learn them... Also, I'm like back down to half health already, which is... Um, oh dear. Oh hey, thank you, Bumper. Yeah. I think this is just an up-down one. Yeah, this is up-down. Oh, that was close. Alright, sick. Bunber, I'm going to require your assistance. Zeke as well. Um, can I get some hearts also? Uh, he's gonna do this. Bombs right here. Cool. Ah! Bombs right there. Okay, sick. We avoided that. Thank you, Bunber. Oh my gosh. So this is a travel. Down. Down. Up. Up. Oh, that one turned off fast. Huh, nice. Ah, I shouldn't have moved. Uh, Zeke, please. Thank you, Zeke. Oh my gosh. My compadres. Oh, ah. 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 Okay, sick. This is going pretty well. Uh, I think they're just gonna stay at the bottom. Yeah, bomb over here. Bomb over there. Then bomb center. Oh crap! What the? Oh, whoopsies! My bad. Bob's ah blah. All right. Well, they only need to take one more bit of damage, which is cool. I think I can manage the uh, speedrun strat. Nope, I, d I cannot. Ah! Oh dear, this is not going well. Oh dear. This is very much not going well, but the Reaper took care of it. 
Did two damage to the tail. Look at this dude, look at this chat, look at him, so happy. Sweet tooth. I used to think this looks like a mushroom, but it's like, these are like the roots. This is a tooth covered in like, I don't know, sprinkles or something. <laughs> Can't believe I'm finally free. I must prepare a fantastic feast to show you my gratitude. Now, where did Bunber put my favorite frying pan? Right, yeah, uh, Bunber, as a ghost, had to do all the cooking. Uh, and, ugh, it's very difficult to cook when your hands are basically oven mitts. Uh, ooh, hey, look at that! Ah, hi, Miss Molly, did you have it? Okay, so, let's look at all these. I am stuck in place. I am completely stuck. I... I'm completely stuck. Wow, that is super cool. Uh, um, can I? D does it go away if I do this? <laughs> there we go. Uh, converts all missing into soul hearts. Probably not the best. This is the grandma's favorite cookie. Very long name. It actually goes out of the box a little bit. <laughs> um. It didn't used to do this always. Um, at some point, they updated the, uh, they like updated the, uh, what was it? The the text. Some of the in-game text were given an update, and in the update, the uh, grandma's favorite cookie, kind of sort of like, did ran into this issue. Um. You know, I think the best course of action is not Grandma's favorite cookie, it is more followers! Ah! Wait, no, Molly! Uh, thank gosh you're here. Okay, great. Um, more followers! Now we have a dude playing um, a DVD lo- we have a DVD logo. A, like a killer DVD logo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh dear. I think this is one of my favorite boss fights. It depends, of course, if I if I can get to it. But my favorite boss fight is upcoming uh, because you're basically like it's Jack again, but he's Pyro Jack. He's He's gone even further insane, um, and will kind of like just you know go nuts, goes insane. That's bat bat shit crazy, you know? Like like dang, like ah, right, the fire knight, Christ, pyro knight, probably one of the most like he's pyro knight is basically a mini boss in the like the effect, like, not only leaves, like, charges forward, leaves behind fire on the floor, but also cr uh, sends out a projectile, uh, you know, not the quickest of projectiles. Um, also, yeah, I'm not, like, you know, my, 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 um, ah. Oh, I need health. Oh, no. Now I can't rest against a wall, which is something I already don't do because I, I, I can't stand still. I, I just can't. Ah, <laughs> it's going insane. It's going crazy. It's I'm about. I'm okay. Hey, there we go. It's it's all cool. It's all good. It's nothing bad ever happened. Anyway, I have to avoid <laughs> so many things now. Ah, down. Pyro, Pyro Jack. Oh, thank you. Ah. See, Pyrojack, uh, is a lot of fire. There's just a lot of fire. And I'm very glad that I left... Ah! I am extremely happy... Oh my god. That... That I took the, um... Oh, oh, oh. Get him, Firefly. Never mind. 
I'm I'm happy I took the uh, the the candy that like reduces fire damage because it also reduces the damage I take from the firefly. Also, this is why it's my favorite boss. You're basically dancing around with Jack, and you have to understand his patterns. Doesn't help that I have like you know three curses that could hurt me. Whew. Stay here. Move over here. I had to stay in the middle. Move. Thank you, Zeke. Okay, sweet. Oh, thank you, Bunber. Oh, I had to. Mo oh, I. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. I reap. <laughs> Me reaping. Oh, I know. Having when I'm sowing, it's fun. When I'm reaping, it is not fun. Ah, ah, no, that was the wrong place. <laughs> save me, Bunber, save me. Ah, Zeke, please. Ah! <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> ah, what? No, what? No. No. No, what? Why? What? 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 No. Why? No, I... I... No. Why was there an ad? That was so stupid. What? Okay. That that was that was very silly. That was very dumb. Do I want to double my souls? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's just let's just double the souls real quick once more. Um yeah, uh, don't worry. It's only third raid. Okay. So, um so we have the skeleton. We have papyrus on the floor. Looking up to Hot Lady, um, Papyrus is being self-centered. Um, lady is um, on the sidewalk walking. Papyrus is on all is on his knees. Um, Papyrus is uh, now he, he's he's begging. <laughs> um, play free. Um, play candy. Can candies and curses. Play for free. Nice. Alright, level 60. I think I level up like once every game now because of the double souls thing. Actually, it's like once every other. But a pitiful amount of ectoplasm comes from leveling up. This is where the real ectoplasm comes from. I'm gonna nearly level up. Anyway. This, for some reason, this menu comes up. I, this is adorable. This menu, this menu comes up like every time you open the game. It's so odd. Also, what's really cool about D Candies and Curses, they just have a really interactive community in the Discord server. Do recommend this game. Um, recent update added costumes. They were very cool. Unfortunately, they all cost money and you can't unlock them, which would be really cool if you could just like unlock them. Um, the only things that are like super difficult to unlock um, are... I think this, this is a rare drop from the final boss of Curse Crusher. Uh, this is from the boss's box. Boss's, boss's box. Boss's boss? Uh, if every time you beat a, a boss in Curse Crusher mode, the Peppermint of Souls will increase in power. This is max. Um, what else is difficult to get. I think the EXP charm was the last like regular quote unquote, uh, quote unquote regular charm, excuse me, um, that I unlocked. Another difficult charm to get of this of course, the Taiko charm, the golden Taiko charm, uh, the four eyes charm, which you get by, uh, anyway, this is the original, this is what you play with at base. Um, after you talk to Ollie enough, he'll tell you his whole story, and once you get his whole, whole story, you get this. You, you can't equip charms. You, you cannot equip charms. It is a torch or beam. Um, this is the challenge mode. Should I do it? Let me just, uh, let me see if I should... Can I upgrade a few things first, like... Oh, right. These take ectoplasm. Everything takes ectoplasm to upgrade. I forgot about that. Let me just, like... There's a nice little, um... 
There we go. B. Alright, that was probably okay. Yeah, let's do it, like... Nice. Also, fun fact. Um, remember that ghost box from a long time ago? Uh, there's ghost boxes, they just, like, hop around, and if you hit them three times, you earn them at the end of the level. If you pay the souls, it's 5,000 souls, you can get a random charm. The thing is, for me, a random charm will not be original, um, and so it will always turn into 400, uh, it'll turn into 400 ectoplasm, which is 600 less than just doing this conversion. So, um, I think I'd go with the conversion. Anyways, these are the super rare, uh, uh, boss flashlight. This is a, this is a scythe. I'm just gonna, bam. Gumbone. Anyway, um, you yeah, know, let's, let's just do a quick, let's see if I can do the Ollie flashlight challenge. I already did it in regular mode, which was extremely stressful. Uh... Yeah, this is it. This is just it. This is the game. This is... This is how you play Ollie Flashlight. It's... Oh dear. You can only drive into things. You have no magnet charm, which really, really sucks. Um, rates are a problem because they can be at a height between, like, a floor and where your beam can hit, so they can kind of, like, hit your head a lot. Um... Uh, but you can still hit things, like, basically under your feet, which is cool, um, because that's just how torches kind of work, which is a, a nice, like, a little nice thing to do, but, um, you just run into any enemies, and, oh, Christ, first hit, oh well, alright. Another cool thing about torches is you just, he normally comes charging through here. But if he comes charging straight into your beam, then like, that's, that's, that's the, that's the, that's, that's, that's comedy. And then he'll be top, oh no, he, yeah, he's gonna be top. Anyway, that's it. Minute seven seconds. It's surprising how a uh, charm only increases my speed of, of the level by like, a charm will, like, increase my speed in that level by, like, only a few seconds. Because, really, the most speed... Ooh. I think you want to have minimal, like, bad followers with um, the Ollie flashlight. But Bunbur is a fantastic, fantastic follower. He can heal me in the late game, which is amazing. Um, I'm probably gonna do, like, only one more run, and then after that I might take a little break. It'll be, like, you know, streaming for an hour and some, and then I might come back later to play a different game, I don't know. Probably, like, Terraria or, uh, Burger Shop, depending on what the people are asking for, I guess. Oh, I hate how... Now I don't have the Magnet Charm, so I don't automatically attract the hearts. Oh dear. Oh. Oh yeah, I had a quest. I forgot quests are a thing. I usually just don't do them. Because I only get 400 ectoplasm. Because if you do enough quests, what happens is, um... Oh, crap. Oh, thank you, Bunbur. That was perfect. If you do three quests, three daily quests, you unlock a free, um... Present, which is cool. Because they, they they turn into uh, ectoplasm for me. I mean, sure, it's basically free, but like some of the uh, you can't really get a good chain in these early stages because there's just not enough ghosts, basically. Anyways, I got my heart chain to pay out. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, thanks for coming around, dude. You should like the only viewer, which is like. Which which means you, you you're like uh, you're you're cool you're cool beans you're cool jeans, hot jeans hot beans. Thanks for coming around, man. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Sick. Literally, oh, haha, <laughs> this guy does nothing. Ah! For like, after the first hit, you can just stand still and he does nothing, which is hilarious. Ah! Give me that heart. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yeah, go over there. Whatever. Alright, yeah, go over there. Okay, nice. Huh. What? How? Who hit me? What hit me? Did that bomb hit me? Uh, let's go there. And levels over. Bam. Oh, I should have stayed near the bottom floor if I wanted to do speed run strats, because you can learn to the bottom floor. Um, and the key is down there so Molly doesn't have to move much if you make it over there. Alright. Ooh! Ooh, that's fantastic. Wait. Uh, ooh. Soul Heart. I think actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. That was probably one of the worst choices ever, because I need to rely on heart and other drops. <laughs> but I take less damage-ish. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be paying mind to the uh, ectoplasm and soul drops. Ah, crap. Ah, ah. Hey, Bunber. Oh, thank you, Bunber. Ah. Oh, dang, I'm only taking one per Wraith hit and Spider, too. Because I'm only taking, taking so little damage because of that punching bag. That's sick. Hey, Bunber. Can I get a... Oh. Bunber. Oh, my God, Bunber, please. Bunber, please, I'm... I'm begging you, I'm not doing too well. Thank you, Bunber. Oh, jump over that. Ah, oh, the freaking rates stand at a height just above your torch, which is, or they, they float at a height which is just above your torch and it gets so annoying. Bottom floor is kind of cared for. Ah. Oh, there went that guy. Oh, Bunber, thank you. Uh, <laughs> help. 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 Oh. Okay. I'm only at 32 out of 48. That's an okay amount of health. I think I might be able to heal up during this fight with Bunber if I'm careful about things. Oh, that's not careful. Oh, Bunber, thank you. Sick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, sick. Bam. All right, all right, Bunber, do your thing, Bunber. That that is that is the thing. That's the thing. He did it. He said the line. No. Okay, cool. It's still stuck around. Good. Ah, oh, there we go. Taking it slow, healing up still. Um, I'm surprised I never did I have to Wait, did she never do this attack yet? What the heck? Is it gonna be extremely long? No, it's not. Ah, I should have pressed right. And Bunber, thank you. Perfect. Oh my gosh, Bunber, you beautiful ghost. You amazing man. Or at least, sh pre previous man. 
Ah, I'm not doing it's so hot. Uh, let's do that, that, that. Sick. All right. She's just dancing around. She's just grooving. She just, she just vibing, you know. I mean, sure, she's, you know, beating the crap out of me, but like, she vibing though, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Bumber. Okay. I just have to watch where the floor blinks. That's where a skull is sent out. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Bam. Oh, wonderful. Not too bad of a fight. And I turn right? Oh, I was right on top of it. Oh, okay. That was fine. That was alright. That was good. Hey, Paige. <clears throat> Alright. Witch. Just one word. Witch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. Just chatting. Oh, well, you're not going to give me a quest? Okay. Um, definitely want a candy, not a curse. It's a pretty solid candy, especially for the early game. Check phone notifications. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, really. Okay, we're all good. Huh. There we go. Oh, this is gonna suck when the bottom floor goes out because of the poison. And it's also gonna suck when the venom spider starts seeping in, and they're gonna, you know, when they when a venom spider jumps and lands, which I don't let them do because they leave a, a pool of poison and I yeah oh, there's just so many things going on there's so many enemies it's insanity there's so many enemies Bunber please help me you're not enough Bunber thank you Bunber that is help oh crap it's floor is rumbling you know what that is Okay, so I have to watch out for the Toxomancers at the bottom floor. Uh, uh, I gotta make sure I don't be there when they're shooting. Oh. Ah. Oh, I took damage from something else, which is probably a floor hazard, which, again, I deeply despise floor hazards. Ah, help! Oh, thank you, Bunber. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so this isn't going horribly, but it is... Oh, okay, see, we're fine. It was easy. Oh my gosh. I had that in the bag. <laughs> I don't know what anybody was thinking. For a minute there... It... <laughs> what, did you think I, I didn't have it? <laughs> I... <laughs> I had it all under control. Extremely under- like, extreme control. Like, the most control. This might be- oh, I'm sorry, Bumber. I put that to waste. Let's do that. Oh, lots of- lots of horizontal shots. I'm- I'm much a fan of that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. Perfect. Uh, Bunbird, did you did you give me a heart and I picked it up and I didn't notice? I'm sorry. Uh, Bunbird, you got that. Yeah, you got that, Bunbird. Yes, there we go. Sick. I didn't have to go up there and risk a hit. On Burr, he's gonna move away slower now. I mean, it's a pretty good. I mean, using a beam is, you know, pretty. Oh, Bunber! I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Bunber. Ah, whoa! I took a lot of damage there. Oh, I missed a hit. That's that's not gonna. 
Oh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Ow. Thunder. Can you bail me out here, buddy? Thank you. Oh, perfect. Whew, oh boy. Thank you, Bunber. Bunber carrying, though, like, all those, all those hearts. Really, like, Christ. I don't know why I'm doing an ollie charm, but, I mean, an ollie flashlight, but, I, you know what? May, may as well, I suppose. <laughs> oh, who? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, good. 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 Good, 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 good. Good. Okay. Botanical ballroom. Wow, I'm almost to the under uh, undershade study. The undershade study. Undershade study. Is it the is it the undershade study? I forgot the name. It's been a bit. Okay, so I've just got to get some. Oh, that 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 doesn't help. Ah, that doesn't help either with the the chains. Okay, that's okay. That's a chain. Okay, that that's a chain gong. Thank you, Bunber. That uh, I can joust a, a a knight, which is cool, which is sick. I jousted with them. Um, I do just run through there, run through there, run through there, run through there. Kill that guy, kill that guy, kill that guy. We're just gonna run through a few things. I don't know what hit me there, but like, I, okay. Uh, I, oh Christ, Bunber, please. Please, thank you. Yeah, I knew you, Bum, I knew you'd do it, Bunber. Oh Christ, these pirate monsters. Ah, what? What? I might die to Jack. It's a definite possibility, you know? I think there's definitely, like, if I get the god run, like, Zappy Taffy Halo Choco Bar, then the Ollie run probably wouldn't be super hard, honestly. Like, I, I saw somebody get the um, Halo Candy Bar and Zappy Taffy, which are both the S tier candies. They got both of them in an ollie run and soiled it somehow. I don't know how... I don't know how you could fail an ollie run. Um, oh. Well, that's it. Um, do I feel like using a video to revive? I, I, I honestly, I don't. I just, I don't want to use a video to revive. I'll just give up. Bit of a do uh, I can't watch ads. I'm, I'm live on twitch.tv sl forward slash uh, regret underscore huh. I gotta come up with a better name, honestly. I've rebranded so many times. <laughs> oh, hey. Challenge. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's. Um, I don't know. Upgrade a charm. I can't do that. Oh. Let me fix the... Okay. Uh, whoops. I uh, got it. There we go. Bam. Fresh new. You, you, you didn't even know what happened. <laughs> Alright, uh... Beat spitters with that. Sure, I can do that sometime, but... Not right now. I think I shall just leave the stream right here. Um, I th thank you for coming out. Um, uh, that, that's it. <laughs> See ya.